show how to create the Ubuntu virtual machine in the Azure. Then install the Apache 2 and create some HTML file and you connect from the outside. So let us start the demo. <coughs> I hope uh, all of you have the Azure account and you have already logged in the portal azure.com. So go here, home. So this is the home page and you have to create the virtual machine. So you have to click on virtual machine and so now go click on the add virtual machine. You will get in wizard here. So if you see the resource group, I have already created a new resource group. So as per your requirement, you can create new one or you can use any existing one. So let me create the new one. I will give the demo resource group. And then I can give the name of that uh, VM. So I will give the VM demo. Okay. I can use any reason it will take the is two and I'm not going to explore any options here. I have to create the open to image. So it has been already selected. If it is not selected you can go and select from here. Okay. So in my case it is already selected and uh, Depend upon the size, you have to pay the money, uh, and there are many sizes are there. So, but uh, I'm okay. Whatever we have, uh, we have already here. So now, let's do everything as it is. Take the SSH public key. You can use your username, but by default it's okay. And you have to give the name of the key. So it will generate the new key with this name. You can change the name, so you can keep the same name here. I have to access uh, from the public with some port. So select the error selected port. Here you have to choose the two port. <coughs> One is the SSH, so by which you can connect the Ubuntu server, and second is the HTTPS, that is for the Apache web server. So uh, be careful, I have selected the two ports here, so please follow the same. Come up, networking. So you can clear the new virtual network, or let it be there, what it came here. No, <coughs> go to the basic and just review. We check one more time. So everything is fine. Click on the create button. Now this page is showing that you have to download the private key, public key, right? SSH key. So click on the download private and create resource. It will download one PM file. That will be useful when you connect the SSH. See it has been you see here. So this is the file name. <coughs> now wait for a while. Deployment in the process. Once it is done, then first we have to connect one to server to the SSH. Deployment is in progress. You can see VM demo is created. Now you got this button go to resource. Now click on go to resource. So now see this VM has been created. A VM name is VM demo. Location is the HTS2. 
IP address all things is here public IP address monitoring and all those things you can see here okay now what you have to go is to go to the connect SSH and you have to follow this instruction so I will open the terminal I will go to the download folder because that file has been downloaded from there so what was the name of the file VM demo if you see this VM demo is here right so what command you have to do now just follow this command here ch mode So to CH 400 and the P file name. Now what you have to do just copy this part because our username was the Azure user copy in the same command. What is written here? SSH hyphen key and paste. Now it is saying you want to connect, yes. Now you see it has been connected. Okay. First and foremost, what you have to do, you have to install the Apache. So, sudo apt install Apache 2. So you follow the same command. It is being installed Apache 2. It is showing the percentage here, it is 98%. Now done here, it has Apache 2 has been already installed. How we check? Go here, our VM overview. Here is the public IP address. Click here, it will copy the IP address. Go and just paste. You can see you got the Apache 2. But I want to show our HTML pages, right? Not this page. So what you have to do here, you go to this folder. Here, if you see, we have the index doc XML. So we create our new file here. And write some maximum code. Anything. Okay, that's it. And save this way. How you will save? Escape. We have to do the escape and colon wq this one. Now this file has been there. Now what I will do? Uh, just change the name file, right? So first take the backup of index. And make this text.xml to the index.xml. That's it. 
Now you came here again and hit the face it. So this is the first server, right? So this is the way we create the Azure Virtual Machine Ubuntu and HTML Apache installed and you can access from here. Another way I want to show you, suppose I want to add one more HTML. So you can come here and come down to see one option run command. Here save script means whatever you have done here, you can do the same thing here without connecting because it has been already connected. So let me do where we were there. Let me go this path to show this path we came. And now I will create a new file HTML. This is the second page, something. And then you can see first dot HTML. So it will give you the one file first dot HTML with this content. Once it is done, we can access this file also. Right, so now go to the first here. First dot HTML. Sorry, first dot HTML. Now you can see this is the second page. So if you see, we have now the two th two files, right? First HTML and this, this uh, the index HTML. Uh, so this is the how we can. And I will want to Apache. Uh, thank you very much. If you like, please like and subscribe to this video.